Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle SBase. In this video, I'll be discussing the basics of the SBase outline. The SBase outline defines the structure of the SBase database. SBase is what is called a multidimensional database. This means that data is defined by a series of dimensions, and then data is stored at the intersection of these dimensions. This is a fairly difficult concept to illustrate, which is one reason I don't have an illustration of it. And the SBase outline gives us an easy way to define all this information. There are three basic elements of the SBase outline that I'm going to discuss. The first is dimensions and members. The second is hierarchies. And the third is consolidation or summarization. The first element of an outline are dimensions and members. Dimensions and members describe the data that we're storing. There will be many dimensions in an outline and there'll be many members in each dimension. Let's take a look at some examples of dimensions and members. Years is a common dimension, and its members would be things like 2014, 2015, 2016. Months is also a dimension that you will find in many outline, and its members would be the 12 calendar months. Accounts is a dimension that you will have, and it contains items that you want to measure, such as income, profit, price, sales, and so forth. Depending on your data and your business, you will have other dimensions. Some examples include products, stores, division. The actual members that make up a dimension of, say, products, would be unique to your business. Hierarchies are how you organize members within a dimension. The dimension name is always the top level of the hierarchy. Members are children of the dimension, and members themselves may have children. In this example of the dimension months, there's only one level, and this is called a flat hierarchy. You won't see this very often in a real outline, partly because it's not very efficient and partly because it's not very useful. Here's a more complicated example of a hierarchy. We're still using the dimension months, but we've added in the four quarters in addition to the individual months. So January, February, March are children of quarter one, and so forth. Additionally, quarters one, two, three, and four are children of the top level months. This is a more typical example of a hierarchy, although most hierarchies will be even more complicated than this. Consolidation is a very powerful part of SBase because SBase does the calculations for you. SBase summarizes the data to all levels based on the hierarchies in the outline. Consolidation can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and percentages. Consolidation operators apply to members. All members must have a consolidation operator. They use the standard mathematical symbols, and SBase performs these consolidation operations for you. Let's look at some examples of how consolidation operates. In our first example, the parent is equal to child A plus child B. In our outline, this translates to a parent with the two children on the level below. Child A has the addition operator, meaning it consolidates up using addition. Child B also has the addition operator, meaning it also consolidates up using addition. Effectively, we've added child A and child B into the parent. In our second example, the parent equals child A minus child B. Again, our outline has a parent with two children underneath it. Child A uses the addition consolidation operator, meaning it consolidates up to the parent using addition, but child B has the subtraction consolidation operator, meaning it consolidates up to the parent using subtraction. Effectively, we subtracted child B from child A. In our months dimension example, we've added the addition operator to each member. This shows that each member consolidates up to the next level using addition. Here's a more complicated example of consolidation. In this example, we define gross profit as being gross sales minus cost of goods sold, and net profit as being gross profit plus other income minus other expenses. So starting from gross profit, we see gross profit having two children, gross sales, and cost of goods sold. Gross sales consolidates up using the addition operator, and cost of goods sold consolidates up using the subtraction operator, effectively subtracting cost of goods sold from gross sales to get gross profit. Additionally, net profit has three children, gross profit, other income, and other expenses. Gross profit and other income use the addition operator to consolidate up to net profit but other expenses uses the subtraction operator to consolidate up to net profit. Effectively, this gives us net profit being equal to gross profit plus other income minus other expenses. To recap, the SBase outline defines the SBase database structure. In the outline, you must define dimensions and members. You must also define member hierarchies. 
You also assign a consolidation operator to each member. There are a lot of other options and details in the SBase outline, but these basic concepts will get you started.